Roots, and I am here to show you how I use the hula hoop as my manifestation tool. Um, now, I do teach a class called Hoop Yogini, which combines the hula hoop with mindfulness meditation and hatha yoga. So, um, with that said, um, it is uh, one of the first classes that I teach is called the Spinal Awakening Series. And that is where you um, use the hoop as a biofeedback tool to move in different hopper of positions to, um, you know, uh, get, get, get your body rolling, <laughs> get your body rolling, moving, get that lymphatic system yes. rolling, okay? <laughs> and I am so glad. See how everything works? Um, everything works. Like, um, I was supposed to go in at one, but the gentleman, he went on first and he talked about how we're energy and, you know, how we're connecting. Woohoo! That's what we're doing here in the circle, okay? So a lot of things in life have to do with the circle. Have to do with the circle. You, you find yourself back in the same place. Uh, for an example, I used to live in Bushwick, Brooklyn, and I moved all over Brooklyn. I moved to different states, and then one day I moved a block away. Now, as a child, I never knew what was across the tracks. I lived across the tracks, now I'm Bedford Stuyvesant. And I was like, and I was selling a house down the block, like three blocks away. I'm selling a house, and I look across the street, I'm like, this is familiar. It was my school. It was my Aww. very first school. <laughs> you know, my very first school. And then I was like, okay, it's time for me to get out of here. I done come full circle. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to go do something else. Seriously, so I'm not there anymore. <laughs> I don't do Brooklyn as much anymore. <laughs> but um, in the practice of doing hoop yogini, um, you know, I have been doing an alkaline diet, uh, which is Dr. Savy's diet. I've been, and with that said, as you just heard, it started clearing my mind. I get more ideas. I'm connecting more to the universe. And I had, you know, was, um, I created this thing called the vibration hoop. Now, the very, and the reason I, it, it came towards me, the very first class of hoop yogini that I took, I was already said to the universe, I'm looking to teach yoga, but as Venetria, as a Sagittarian, as I don't do anything like anybody else does, Hoop Yogini found me. So I, I, I took the first class and I'm hooping and this is so, I'm feeling so good. I feel so great. I feel so energy. Oh, this is so beautiful. There's a, a, a class, a, um, uh, let's see. There is a position called by um, Inspired Lifts. I'm going to close this up. And let's see. Lean it gently here. Okay. Called Inspired Lifts. And uh, Inspired Lifts is the spinal awakening, not the hula hoop part. Inspired Lifts, where you're twisting. And on one side, you're doing something that you're grateful for and you're sending it out into the universe. And the other side is something that a prayer, wish, or intention. And the first thing that I asked, I was like, man, just, just in the class, this is some awesome hula hooping. You know, this is fun with the hula hoop. I'm gonna teach this. This is what I want to teach. And I said, give me the money <laughs> for this class that's taking place next week that's about 17 and change and i need my airfare and my food and my lodging and i was like whatever they said you know push it up into the air don't worry about how it's going to come back it's already yours okay and i was like okay all right you know <laughs> this is in the beginning of me into this spiritual life so the next day uh, I got a call from the lawyer. Said so we got your check ready. <laughs> we got your check ready from that car accident I had a year ago, which my sister already had hers. So I knew that right away. I was like, I did that. I did that. You know. So, <laughs> so this is who you got now. Ever since my very first time being in a hula hoop, I totally manifested. Now. Going more forward, <laughs> going more forward, um, I discovered that, you know, we're doing hula hooping. I make all my hula hoops, right? I, anything from the store, you're really not going to be 
you might use it for some type of fun, but you won't use it as far as exercising or being able to do this for a long time and actually staying up because they are so light. They may so light, they may so toyish, mm -hmm. but the materials we use for hula hooping, it's, it's worth, you know, it's worth it and it won't fail you as far as making you unbalanced in your mind, right? So, you hear that sound? Mm -hmm. You don't even hear those in the hula hoops anymore, no. right? You don't even hear that. So, I got this idea. What can I put in a hoop to make that sound? I want mine. I want that. <laughs> right? So, um, I was like, I'm into these crystals now, and I'm into this copper. Now, actually, my very first set of hula hoops, I started making what's with copper. Now, copper is in your brain. It helps you move. All of your actions is moving. It's, we are electricity. Our spine is our as our cord and all of your nerves are connected to it so you know without that connection without that you know you're not going to move so the copper is something i added to my hula hoops to conduct energy so as you are your own vortex you're your own energy right now this is my own energy this is my vortex i'm creating my own personal universe inside of my hoop and the copper will be touching my spine and everywhere else in my circulatory movement um it will help your thoughts become more direct with connecting to energy and not only do i have copper in here i have stones i have crystals in here so depending on that. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Um, so the first limited sex, uh, set of uh, hoops that I made were with light blue sapphires. And um, I have a whole list of what the blue sapphires do. But with that, I also have copper in it. Copper enhances the properties of whatever crystal that you got going on. So I like to wear and make crystals with copper wrapped in it. I'm a copper fanatic anyway, right? Just totally. So, having, so that is one way of to create some energy and some thoughts and your own creations, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so getting, um, raising your vibrations, raising your vibrations. So how do you think you might raise your vibration in a hula hoop? Well, just for you, by moving, you're raising your thumb. If I do this, I'm in a hula hoop. <laughs> I just raise my vibration. Just this. I just raise my vibration. Just that, you know? Mm -hmm. Just the happiness and the smiling is making your vibration move. Now, I'm doing certain things in the hula hoop. I'm not going to move too much because I don't want to bang anything. <laughs> but what I'm doing is those thoughts are circling and circling and you're creating a vortex if you will and I'm shooting straight to the universe my ideas going straight up to wherever it needs to go to manifest now I'm using my body also as a tool to raise my vibration by just the energy of moving it. Just the energy of moving it. So this is one of the positions in Hoop Yogini called Thunderbolt. <laughs> Thunderbolt is taking your thoughts, shooting them straight into the universe to get your eye, to get it out there. Also, you are strengthening your core and this is a total, total ab workout. Definitely, you do this in five minutes. You will feel it. I sometimes like, oh, I need a little, need a little four pack again. I need to show with my cute dress. So I just, you know, five minutes, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you know. And believe me, it works. It's, I only do yoga and um, some swimming and hula hooping. And I'm cut. I'm cut. I'm cut. I'm cut. This is just from me working out just this week. I sat for a minute. 
I was like, ooh, this is just okay. I got this. My back is really cut up. And it's just a wonderful tool that does so much. And I mean, you could just, it helps you to lose weight seamlessly <laughs> with your eating. Okay, you can't eat crappy food and exercise and expect a real result. Okay, so they definitely go hand in hand. Um, I do a plant-based diet. I do the um, alkaline diet. Um, and that is something else that my company does where I help you reach your divine through exercise, which is the hoop yogini. Uh, um, you're eating an alkaline diet and meditation, helping you discover your true self. So just by just being 10 minutes in here as a good um, form of meditation here, you keep moving, close your eyes, become one with the universe. This is what I see when I close my eyes. I see stars, I see planets, I see nebulas, I see other galaxies when I close my eyes, because that's what I'm a part of. And aren't we all, but if you don't believe it, okay. <laughs> and just sit here and ask for what I want, ask to claim things, how to manifest here, just see it, just in this sound, even with no music. It is just a form of sound, inside of your personal space sometimes you don't always have to move you can be here this is what we call the in hoop yogini um your centered pose which you hold in your hoop at three and nine o'clock your feet is a little more than hip distance apart your knees are at a very small bend because we don't want to uh, overextend them you can mess up ligaments in the back of your knees and believe me, I got this arthritis going on. I'm still moving, okay? So, you know, this is just total energy. And you're bending down, feet implanted into the earth, small bend in the knee, tucking in your tailbone. Inhale and have your shoulder blades towards your spine, your chin 90 degrees in the earth, and your ears above your shoulders. This is center pose, where you are sitting here or standing here in the middle of your own personal universe, <clears throat> ready to look out to the rest of the world while you're in your space. Mm -hmm. And you can take this calm energy, this calm existence, this calm feeling out with you into the rest of your life. I use this when I'm on New York City trains. <laughs> <laughs> I use this even without a hoop, even without a hoop. I just stand here, like in a tree pose. This is like an, an extension of tree pose, okay, with the hoop around you. So an extension of tree pose here. And I just close my eyes and I'm able to be like, there's a fool over there, there's a fool over there, there's a fool <laughs> over here, mm -mm, watch yourself, move over here. I move train spots because I felt things, you know, mm -hmm. and it really does just bring you into yourself so that you can look and um, you can, uh, What's the word? Um, look out and react. Um, react instead of um, overreact. <laughs> I can't remember the word right now, but that memory, <laughs> that memory sometimes, sometimes it's not at the end of your tongue, but that's what it is. Uh, this is what I use and it changed my life. It changed my life. Um, 2010 was the last time I worked as a W2. <laughs> I do no more W-2s. I mean, literally, I've always been able to get a job by, they always call me at least. No one called me. No one called me over a year. Nobody called me. So I knew that when I walked out of that job and I saw it, it was February and I saw the sun just right in front of me, sun setting, I was like, God wants me to do something. So in, the, in that interim, I was always looking for something. I found the hoop. I started a business. I started a business. I'm four years in. And lots of things with my family has certainly grown. It, it, it got tore down. It got back up. You know, things have just manifested terribly and not to my favor. But actually, everything is done in my benefit and everything in my favor because this is where I am now. And so 
now I am traveling the globe <laughs> with a hula hoop. <laughs> with a hula hoop. And that is what I manifested inside of my hoop. And you can manifest whatever you need to inside of your hoop, even if it whatever kind of hoop that it is. Even if you're just standing still inside of something that you could see or not see. Um, and that's just what it is. It's energy you can't see, but it's there. It is totally there. And that's how I raise my vibration. You can raise your vibration with who you can to. And, and you just just by smiling. Just by smiling. Yeah, I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to create this. I'm going to create that. Yeah, I'm going to get this job. Okay, I'm going to get this house, this car, this job, you know. Everything in the hope that you can do, you can manifest right there. Okay? And that is how you can raise your one way that you can raise your vibration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I do have some regular some regular hoops here and I have some um, uh, vibrational hoops here um, I have just a few uh, this is the last of my uh, inventory for the rest of the year I'm totally making a whole new so this is edition one <laughs> edition one is a whole hoop next edition will be hoops that you could travel with uh, like uh, the vibra um, which, uh, the figure eight. I'm going to go into the figure eight hoops and use those as the vibrational hoops. Yes, yeah, so you can bend them, boom, boom, boom. It's half the size of this. You could bring it on an airplane. I do. Put it right under your seat. Don't let them say, you can't bring that. Uh huh, this one in my carry on. See ya. <laughs> okay, <laughs> believe me, you better tell them. Better tell them. And that's just it. So I've changed my life. I've made things happen in my family to my benefit. And I can't, I'm keeping on going, like, my, it's endless, the possibilities are endless. That's one way that you can raise your vibration and manifest magically. I should. Thank you for having me.